Greetings. Welcome back again to Educational TV News Channel. And this is the People's Channel. And if you're here for the very first time, support Educational TV News Channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend for tell a friend. And blessings to all of my VSP subscribers. Boy, oh boy. People, this is what you call a heartless society, a merciless society, and evilness cover the land of Jamaica. And there is no other way to describe it, Jamaica, right now, people. There is no other way. Now, if anybody in a Jamaica, whether a man or a woman, think they are safe, hold up your hand, make me see you. You know what I'm saying? Because people, this is getting from bad to worse. And this is the lowest it can ever reach people. It reach rock bottom. Trust me. People, this is serious. We have some heartless people living at Jamaica. It's unbelievable. No people, what we want to talk about today is that a female amputee taken out in downtown Kingston. A woman was fatally taken out in section of downtown Kingston Market District on Monday morning, December 28th. She has been identified as Debbie Ethan, otherwise known as Debbie Ninja of Rima in West Kingston. She is believed to be in her 40s and was an amputee. Reports are that about 8 a.m. Ethan was in the area when she was attacked by a group of armed men who later shot her then fled the area. Ethan was assisted to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Investigation are not yet established the motive behind Ethan's murder. Now, people, as I say, this is just a heartless, heartless place. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't know what, you know, David could have done, you know, to anyone. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, people. But we see, you know, the anger when I look on that she's an amputee and she was taken out in this way that for sure you these men are heartless you know what i'm saying people no people it's just last week we see in a clarendon where a 17 year old girl with down syndromes was murdered and taken out in our, our own house people she was slaughtered in her own house and this week again, people, we see another woman who is amputee was taken out in this manner again. So how low it can go, people? You know what I'm saying? How worse can it get? Because personally, I don't see no light at the end of the tunnel because the land is covered with evilness. And as I say, if anybody in a Jamaica right now can say, well, me safe, stand up, make me see you, and hold up your hand, make me see you. You know what I'm saying? Because no one is safe anymore. Nobody is safe. You know what I'm saying? And people, it's, we live in a time where each year, people, it's 1300 plus people drop out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can tell you that Holy Bar Church in a Jamaica now have 1300 members. There's lots of party we keep in a Jamaica and dance. We now have 1300 people go to the dance at the party. So that will show you how much 1300 people is a lot of people. If anybody keep a party or a dance and 1,300 people, 
come at the venue. You're rich, you can't go to the bank because if everybody buy a beer, you get rich. Trust me. Because you get a good support for that night. And that for sure, you say, 1,300 people each year is a lot of people. Lot of people. And, you know, people, you know, why I say nobody not safe is that everybody will drop out this year, 1,300 people. All of them were saying the same thing that them safe. You know what I'm saying? All of them were saying the same thing. So that's why I'm mean, no say nobody no safe in a Jamaica right now. You know what I'm saying? People feel understand say you know, you see crime is a very serious thing, you know. It affects the whole country, you know. It affects the growth of the country. You know what I'm saying? It affects how people on the outside is looking at Jamaica right now. You know what I'm saying? The main income in Jamaica right now is tourism. You know what I'm saying? So people want to come visit Jamaica, but each time they do, they have to think twice. Because the crime is a monster in the road. You know what I'm saying, people? This is a heartless place right now. Merciless place right now. Evilness, you know what I'm saying, people? Because I don't know what this woman could have done. You know what I'm saying? Every story have three sides. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't imagine what a woman could do that she taken out like this, much less she's a disabled person. You know what I'm saying? I would just look back last week when we see the 17-year-old Shelly Ann Williams was murdered and raped in her house, slaughtered, and this week again, people. And that for sure, you say, something not right. You know what I'm saying? Something is not right. Now, people, when we look on Jamaica and how the government run the country, sometimes you have a shake in my head because not until the government in Jamaica change the laws them for much of the crime, there will no be able to be no improvement. I'm not saying it's gonna take away crime completely, but trust me, it put a dent in it. Because every time a man think I have to think twice before him doing evilness. The government have to change the laws in Jamaica for match the crime. Every country do it except Jamaica. The laws have to change people. The laws have to change that mean a liar in a Jamaica can't help them. It's a standard law. That means if you hold a man with a gun 35 years. And if a man use a gun and take out anybody. 40 years and a liar can't come defend him in a courthouse. No reduce, no sentence to run concurrently. You know what I'm saying? This is how you have to set the laws in a Jamaica to match the crime. Because the gunman, them, and the gang members, them, them laugh at the Jamaican law. It seems to me like the government and the gunman and the gangster, them, they are friends. You know what I'm saying? They are best buddies. Because we've seen a Jamaica man commit some serious crime. And within a year and a half, two years, him back out on the street doing the same thing again. Meanwhile, if he did set the law, he would have still be behind bars and robbed him 40 and 35 years. When you have a lawless society, you have to set the bar high for criminals. Trust me. Condolences goes out to Debbie and family, you know what I'm saying, people? Because I don't know what in the world, people, 
she could have done so much that she'd been taken out like this. And just last week, we have said the same thing again to her. You know what I'm saying? 17 year old young lady from Clarendon who have Down syndromes, raped and murdered in our house. People, we have to wake up. We have to be our brother's keepers. We have to open our eyes now. Don't think you are safe because no one is safe in a Jamaica. No parish, no community is safe again. So please leave your comment down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.